That's as good as it's getting. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a foundation review on the new Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. It's oil-free and it has an SPF of 30. So this is what it looks like. This one just recently came out. Um, I want to say like a week or two weeks ago, I think. And it's new and I've seen a lot of reviews on YouTube. So I wanted to do a review of my own because this foundation says that it's a self-refreshing foundation, which means it's going to refresh itself supposedly throughout the day so that you don't like get smile lines and your makeup just looks like you just applied it like all day long so what's better than that and ignore my appearance i look lovely i know that it is a weightless foundation that synchronizes with skin and self refreshes non-stop for an up to 24 hour just applied look and flawless finish it's a medium coverage, it's a natural finish, and it's for all skin types. And it also has an SPF of 30. So it says it's a long wearing fluid foundation, now with an improved formula, features active force technology from Japan. Okay. That helps resist sweat, oil, facial movements to maintain a just applied flawless finish that lasts up to 24 hours. It also adapts to your skin tone and texture so you find your perfect match. This product is an Allure Best of Beauty Award winner. Ooh. Okay, so I am really excited to try this. So I'm going to be doing kind of like a wear test today too. So I'm going to be going out and I'm going to be like, you know, do my thing and then later on tonight I will come back and I will show you guys how the foundation held up and how it looked throughout the day and my full thoughts and opinions on the foundation. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my skin because I never not prime my skin so I'm going to use this foundation as if I would use it like every day. So I'm going to prime my skin with the Natasha Denona Magic Primer. This is the anti-shine flawless face base so I'm just gonna put that all over and I've been breaking out like so bad I don't know what my issue is but I don't think that this foundation is like a full coverage it says it's medium so I'm gonna try and build it up so I can cover like this planet on the side of my face so that'd be great. So I'm also gonna go in with the Tarte um, Flawless Base Timeless Smoothing Primer, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put it right where my pores are because I need that. Okay, so I got the shade 140 Porcelain. I went to Macy's, that's where I got it, because I didn't see that they sold it in Sephora, like in the stores yet. So I just got mine at Macy's. Oh, okay, so the packaging is a glass packaging and I just tried to pump it and it's like one of those locked ones. So you have to twist it at the top and then you go and pump. So it says to shake well before you use it. Okay, so I did about three pumps on the back of my hand and it's staying there, so it's kind of like a thicker foundation. It's not like dripping down my arm or my hand. So I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna go in with a brush first because I heard a lot of people say that they prefer it with a brush. And then if I feel like I want more coverage, I'll build it up with the sponge. So I'm first gonna go in with the brush and I'm just gonna tap it in right over that little area. Okay, and then I'm gonna blend it out with the Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. And that's a good match too. It's really pretty. So it's going on super easy. Like it's super easy to blend out. It's not one of those that you have to really try hard to blend out, which is nice. But as you can see, you can still see like 
my pimple and like my acne scar showing through, which is fine because I can always go in with either a second layer or I can just cover it with concealer. So that's just one layer with the foundation. So I'm gonna take some. Okay, so I'm gonna go, that was just like my cheek area and that used all that foundation. So I'm gonna go back in. Every time I use a brush on my nose, it just looks like shit. <laughs> and I don't know why. So I'm probably gonna have to go over it with a sponge. So far, this looks so nice. Like it just looks like your skin. It doesn't look like heavy, cakey makeup. So up close, it's looking a little heavy around my mouth and my nose. So I'm gonna go in with the um, sponge to kind of like build up coverage where I want it and then like smooth it out. So I'm just using my Real Technique sponge. I like when I apply my foundation with a sponge. So if you like a foundation brush, um, it'll give you good coverage, but I always recommend going over it with a sponge because it'll smooth out everything. So it looks so much more like natural and like just like refreshed um, with the sponge over top. Oh my God, I look crazy. I didn't even try today. So I'm gonna go in with my, ooh, I don't know if I wanna do Tarte Shape Tape or Jouer. Okay, I'm gonna do Tarte Shape Tape because I know how this works and I like it with all my foundations. Okay, now I look psycho. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face because I always set my face with powder because I just don't like the feeling of sticky foundation on my face. So I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way translucent powder. Jesus, I have powder everywhere. I'm gonna set underneath my eyes. Okay, so with the powder on, my skin just looks really smooth and airbrush, and it blended out really, really nice. It doesn't look cakey or heavy around anywhere. It just looks really, really smooth and natural. So if you do set your face, then it does look really, really smooth and pretty. My hair, I, I can't. I didn't even like care what I looked like when I sat down to film this video, clearly. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. So I'm going to do like my bronzer, blush, all that stuff. And then I will be back to show you the finished look. Looked? So then I'll be back to finish the rest of the look. Okay, guys. So I just finished the rest of my makeup. Um, the check-in time is 2.30. So you can see it is 2.32. So I'm going to be going to the mall and we're just gonna be like running errands and doing our thing. So later tonight, I will check back in so you guys can see how the foundation held up and my thoughts on the foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see how it looks. So my bronzer, blush, and highlight, everything went on really, really smooth. There was no issues blending any of that out. So you could still see my friend right there, but that's to be expected because he's huge, so. There you go. Um, but so far, the foundation feels very lightweight. It feels very natural on the skin. And I have noticed that I am not having any smile lines at all. Like, not even forming, which is very rare because I always have smile lines because I make so many facial expressions. And there's no fine lines or separation in my eyebrows. Like, nothing. So... If I don't get fine lines and smile lines throughout the day, then this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty impressive because I always get the craziest smile lines right here, and it just is the biggest pet peeve when it comes to foundation. That is one thing that I love about the double wear because that one hardly ever separates like into my smile lines. So if this one does that, then I'm gonna be so happy because it's very lightweight, it's very natural, and it was super easy to blend, which I love because on days when I don't wanna work as hard on doing my makeup, this would be something that I would definitely grab. So yeah, the shade match was really nice. I have stuff in my hair. Oh my God, today's just, mm, girl one of those hair days so yeah so I will definitely check back in with you guys later on tonight and we can see how the foundation held up okay guys so it is currently 901 at night so I've had the foundation on since about 2 15 2 o'clock I think this afternoon and I went and went to the mall and I did all kinds of stuff. I ate like a savage apparently. Um, and this is how the foundation looks. So let me go ahead and zoom in. Okay. So you can see I did get a little smile line right here. Just a little. Um, and it's starting to separate. Okay, so like around my nose, it looks a little cakey. Um, it looks shiny, but it's not actually like shiny on my skin. Um, I am a little oily on my chin and it does look a little cakey around here and around my nose. It's starting to come off a little bit, as you can see like kind of coming off on my nose but um that would be my grandmother because she literally said i had something on the side of my nose and came up and just wiped the side of my nose <sighs> so that's probably why half of it's off on my nose um my forehead looks really nice it does feel a little oily though but that's to be expected because i'm always oily at the end of the night um I did get a little crease right in there, and then that one right there. But my blush and my highlights still look really, really good. So does my bronzer. So everything on my my cheeks look fine, I think. Um, my forehead still looks good. So nothing really came off except like this area. Kind of just like started to break up a little bit. But I noticed that it started happening like around 6-ish because I had ate dinner and you know i was drinking i was talking and everything but i didn't think that i started getting smile lines until maybe like i don't know five or six hours in this is definitely a foundation that i would wear like if i was just running errands and i didn't want to you know think about like going full face like you know out kind of makeup um i think it's perfect for every day 
um, and I love that it didn't really crease as bad as like other foundations do. With some foundations, like full coverage foundations, I get really bad smile lines like to the point where I'm like, I'd rather take my makeup off than even have to look at these smile lines because they're so like apparent and I feel like that's all people see. So I really, really do like this one. Um, I would recommend setting it with a powder too if you are oily because um, I am a little shiny and I did set it with powder but I feel like if I mix this with other foundations that are more mattifying, I would really like it more. I think it's great on its own but I feel like I would actually like it better if I mixed it with other foundations because that's just how I do all my foundations. But I love the packaging. I think it's very nice and sleek and I like that you're able to lock it so that foundation doesn't come out, you know, like when you're just, you know, when it's just in your drawers and stuff like that, it's not getting everywhere. But yeah, that's my final thoughts on the foundation. So yeah, I would highly recommend trying it out. I think it's a great foundation for every day and I would, I'm gonna try using like a different primer with it and I'm gonna try mixing it in with other foundations and see like the different kinds of cocktails I like to make with my foundations because that's just how I am. I like to mix and do all that. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Let me know if you guys want me to review any other like foundations or I just got, um, let me show you real quick. I went to Morphe at Planet Hollywood because I saw that they started carrying the um, P. Louise base at Morphe and I was so excited because I've been wanting these bases for ever since I see like all of them on Instagram but I could not find them anywhere in the US so Morphe's carrying them now so if you guys would like me to do a review on the P. Louise um, eyeshadow bases then let me know down below and I will do that for you guys but yeah other than that I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye